The Rothman Institute, the official team doctor and exclusive orthopedic services provider of St. Joseph's Athletics, presents Take 5 on Hawks All Access. Hi, Hawk fans, and welcome to this week's edition of Take 5. The St. Joseph's men's soccer team is 3-3 three three in the Atlantic 10 so far this season, in large part thanks to today's guest, a junior midfielder out of Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, Matt Crawford. Matt, thanks for being here today. No problem. So you've scored seven goals on the season so far, leading the team. Most goals that a player has scored since 2007 in a single season, and they've all come in wins. So which one, if you have one, is your favorite so far? Uh, my favorite goal this season was probably the, uh, the one from uh, the first one I had against Rhode Island. Uh, I was about 30 yards out. Uh, Big Ed made a, a good play in the middle of the field. Derek worked hard and ended up just coming to me, and I just figured I'd give it a go and it ended up going in the top corner and uh, that kind of set the tone for the second half and we were able to come out with a win which was huge for us. And it was definitely a crowd favorite that game, yeah, they that loved was, it. Yeah, that was fun. And you had done that like three days prior against St. Bonaventure too, so is that kind of your favorite place to take uh, shots from? Yeah, it definitely, it's fun to, it's fun to score those kind of goals, but no matter what, uh, as long as teams win, it's fine with me, so. You graduated from Holy Ghost Prep. Um, like I said, from Ben Salem, which is relatively local. What's it like to have that local support when you play at home on Sweeney? Uh, it's great because, I mean, like in that game, I think I had, uh, I had two different families that came and visited for, uh, for that game. So it's fun to see them after the game and know that they, they were here. You're playing, for, you're playing for your family and stuff. And my mom and dad are at every home game, and they make the trips to some, some of the closer away games. So that's huge to have that kind of support because, you know, they've been there the whole time. My dad was my coach since I was young, so it's big time to have them in the stands. Definitely. And have you, did you play any other sports growing up? Has it always been soccer? Uh, I, when we were younger, me and my, my brother plays golf, and so I dabbled with that a little <laughs> bit when I was younger, but that definitely wasn't for me. And, uh, and I played baseball up until about eighth grade, and I played basketball until eighth grade, but soccer was always my favorite sport. It was always the one I liked the best. And I knew that I wanted to play at the college level, so once I uh, I switched club teams in eighth grade, and then and just decided to stick with it and try and play Division One soccer. So at a young age, you realized that this was for you in college. Yeah, definitely, for sure. It was always a goal of mine to try and play at the highest level I could and just see what would happen. Awesome. Um, so more of a, a fun off the pitch question. Uh, you live with two teammates, Greg O'Connell, who's starting goalie this year, and Nick Hartwell. So my question for you is, out of the three of you, which one is the best cook? Uh, between Nick and Greg, uh, I'm not really sure. I know I'm definitely last. <laughs> uh, but Greg, I think, is probably overall, he might do the most cooking. Uh, Nick has specialties. Nick makes a really good stir fry. Okay. But uh, I'm more of a Easy Mac and sure, uh, sure. Elio's type guy. Sure, sure. Very advanced. Yeah. I like it. Um, all right, final question for you. I'm going to give you two options to choose from, and I just want you to go with the first one that that hits your head, okay? So we're going to go, if you had to pick, Cristiano Ronaldo or Leo Messi. Messi all the way. Why is that? Uh, I just think he's, he's out of this world. He's something that we'll never see again and we haven't seen yet. And uh, I mean, Ronaldo's fantastic. He's, he's great, but I think Messi's just way better. Awesome. Matt, thanks for being here today. We appreciate Absolutely. it. Good luck with the rest of your season. Thank you. St. Joseph's returns to action this Saturday against Duquesne at 7 o'clock p.m. So make sure you come down to Sweeney Field and support Matt and the Hawks. For Hawks All Access, I'm Nikki Philpott, and we'll see you next time on Take 5.